Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Um, it's kind of an interesting video for you guys today, right mom? It is, because we are, Gregory and I, are going to discuss our views from a mother's view and from a son's view on what the world is going through right now with the COVID-19 coronavirus. Yes. And how it's impacting everybody. Yes. So what are your views on the coronavirus? I'm putting you on the spot, right? <laughs> Completely. I thought you were going to go first. No, you're going first. Okay. From a mother's point of view, okay. When this all first started, at, you know, and still to this day, I'm trying not to panic. It is scary, especially as time has gone on. And seeing not so much, I guess, the virus itself, but especially what it has created and the panic. So, when this all first started happening, um, China was going through it, and then Italy was going through it. Um, it was definitely, at the beginning of it, it was nerve-wracking, you know, trying to figure out where this was going. And I think, like, in the back of our heads, we were like, okay, well, maybe, you know, the spread of it will be stopped before it comes, like, into every country and, to, you know, affecting the whole entire world. But as time has gone on as we have all seen to this point of time, it is affecting everybody. There, I don't think there is one person out there that is not being affected by it in one way or another. Um, for me, my big thing is I'm stressing to myself, to my family, to any friends I come in contact with, okay, the most important thing is not to panic, to stay calm, to think positive, to have positive outlooks. But I will be very, very, very honest with all the viewers that um, I went to the store last Friday and I have never walked into the store and had tears come to my eyes because I walked in and it looked like a complete war zone. Shelves were empty and not only toilet paper, paper towels, cleaning supplies, but the foods were empty. The meats were completely empty. Um, canned goods were empty. The produce were completely empty. Box goods were empty. I mean, everything was empty. Toilet paper. Um, and of course, toilet paper. No toilet paper anywhere. Um, yeah, I talked to you today. And, okay. We're doing a video. Oh. Sorry. I love you. I hey, love stay you. clean, vlog. Stay healthy. Vlog Sorry. Out. Okay. Let me get back on track now. So, um. Go! At the first store I went into, which was Winco, I was in line for an hour and a half. I went at 7 o'clock in the morning thinking that I would beat the crowds, and that did not happen. Um, I was in line for an hour and a half, and then later that day, I went to Walmart to go get supplies that I weren't, that I was not able to get at Winco, and it was just as bad, if not worse. I was in line there for an hour, and I did find some of the supplies there that I did not find at Winco, so that was, that was nice, um, and again, what I was doing, I was not stockpiling. I was just basically, at that point of time, trying to get supplies, basic supplies, because we do have three growing teenage boys in our house that eat nonstop. So knowing spring break was coming up, which is this week that we're in right now, um, I was just trying to get the basic supplies to have on hand and the foods that we need on hand for a regular spring break when they're not at school, because of course they're gonna be eating breakfast, then probably a snack, and then lunch, and a snack, and then dinner. They eat nonstop. That's what teenage boys do. So I was not so much stockpiling, but I was just trying to get the basic necessities, and it was really challenging. And like I said, I had tears come to my eyes, especially when I saw that, like, the meat. There was absolutely no meat. It was completely empty. And, and we need our meat. And that's how it is in all of the stores right now. I mean, the, everything is just depleted. And so then Gregory and I actually went over to Sam's Club and that day we stood in line for 30 minutes to get our toilet paper. Um, and that's about all we got there. We got some breakfast bars and stuff like that. But um, it was very challenging that day. And that's, I think, when it hit me as a mom the most, just because I had not been grocery shopping for a little while, for a couple of days, for like a week. And so that was my first experience walking in and it just looked like a war zone hit a hit. And then um, 
you know, I know one of the major days also that was the impact was, I believe it was Thursday, last Thursday, when everything that day was just closing. I mean, Disneyland shut down, Universal, Universal Studios shut down, March Madness was canceled, Flags, um, NBA um, has been canceled, sports as a whole has all been... All sports, spring training. Yeah, everything yeah. canceled that day. And <laughs> everything like, is I, canceling. Yeah, that was really crazy. And I was at work with um, my sister, who is my boss. And Hi we girl. were just absorbing it all together. Like one thing after another was being canceled and postponed. And um, and so, yeah, last week really hit me. And then um, going and having spring break being this week, we are trying to still get out to like the lake, go hiking, and just anywhere where you could still self-distance yourself but get fresh air because yes, we're doing what we can do, doing our part in staying inside and not, you know, taking any chance. And, um, oh God, but at the same time, here. it's equally as important for everybody's sanity to get fresh air, to even if it means just go in the backyard for a little bit, go play basketball in the front yard, or get out and go do hiking. It's very advantageous to everybody that we all still get fresh air and vitamin D. Everybody go outside. Um, and then we're just, like I said, this week is spring break. School has been canceled. I don't know how long. I have a feeling, which also, coming from a mom's point of view, is a huge stressor out. Because Gregory is supposed to graduate. I just want to graduate high 15. school. And at this point of time, it's very sad, but I have just a gut feeling that that is probably going to be canceled or postponed. I just want to and graduate. It's really guys. hard because I just, I mean, I'm already planning. And of course, we'll still have this party and everything, but I'm already, you know, planning, you know, party and celebrations. And he is approaching the fun time of his senior year. The last few weeks, he has what, about eight weeks? Yeah. Um, about eight weeks ago. But you know, once they get past the testing, a lot of fun senior activities, and because of this, he is not going to get to experience that. So I'm, I'm hoping there is some way that they will go back, and that they will have a graduation ceremony. But in reality, I, I and kind of have a, my doubts that that's going to happen. There's a chance that school may be shut down for like eight weeks or for the rest of the school year. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. is really scary. And so that's going to be a whole new thing next week when they do actually are supposed to go back to school because then their district will be releasing the plan if they're going to do online schooling or what the plan is. And so I'm doing my part to come up with a good schedule for all of the boys to go by, including study time and of course down to a little bit of downtime, but then I'll, you know, doing life lesson activities and get them more involved with like the duties of the house. They do their basic chores, but more getting them involved since they will have the time of doing duties that they usually wouldn't take the time to do. And um, then one last thing in regards to myself, and then I'm going to hand it over to Gregory. Oh, and boy. He is going to say how he is viewing it from his point of view. Um, from a work standpoint, I actually work in the event industry, and um, I am an assistant event coordinator for corporate events. And... Um, we have been greatly impacted. Like in one week, all of our events were either canceled or postponed. Um, we had about, I won't say all of them were because they were not all, but I would say like 90% of our events were canceled or postponed. So now we are moving forward, um, just keeping the clients that we do still have very happy and working with them behind the scenes until we could, you know, going virtual with a lot of meetings and so forth and so on. So it greatly impacted, um, thank God, dad, not my dad, but Greg's dad, <laughs> Dave. Grandpa. Uh, he is not a grandpa yet. Not yet. Um, thank God his work is still up and running and um, as long as Home Depot stays open, he'll still be able to work because he does the vending in Home Depot. So as long as they stay open, his job should be okay. So we're really hoping and praying that that will stay situated. Um, but you know, it's just shocking. Like I said, there's not one person that is not being affected by this and our thoughts and prayers go out to 
everybody who has lost a job, whose hours have been cut back drastically, um, you know, this is constant change. Um, we, our thoughts and prayers go out to all those who have lost loved ones due to the virus, who are ill due to the virus. Um, and we just give our whole gratitude and thanks to all of the doctors, nurses, firefighters, police officers, EMTs, medical assistants, um, stalkers in the grocery store, cashiers, um, courtesy clerks, and truck drivers. We just thank everybody in the front lines who are dealing with this daily, 24 hours, seven days a week. Um, our president, hi dad. And I, can, I think Jacob just said he you, threw up. So you, you want to go check on him? Pause it. Well, no, I'll talk about my stuff now. Okay. Oh, yeah. Did Jacob throw up? Oh, shit. I never yep, Jacob threw up. Yep, Jacob just threw up. So, my viewpoint on all of this this all sucks. The, everything is getting canceled. School's canceled. There's a fence that are getting canceled. Restaurants are closing. Um, cause it's really bad working in a restaurant right now cause everything is, it, yeah, um, it, it's all crazy, um, I'll go back to you guys after this, hold on. Alrighty guys, we're back on after the little interruption. Jacob! I can't believe you threw her up. <laughs> Jacob is under the weather today. He does not have the coronavirus, but he does He's have the stomach flu. Up. It yes. hit him like a tongue and it burks. He was doing fine. And then like all of a sudden... His head started hurting and he started throwing up. So. Yes, so pretty much before I turned off the camera, mm -hmm. what I said was like, all this is terrible because restaurants are closing, businesses are closing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And people are very, very ill. Sick, and, yes. yes. So we just reach out to everybody and we are gonna do our best at what we can do to bring a smile to everybody's face. That is our promise that we are gonna do positive vlogs and positive updates and just do even what we, if we're in quarantine we are going to be just do what we can do vlogging to bring a smile to somebody's face that is in need of positivity wash your hands and stay healthy and stay healthy and self distance yes but get fresh air vitamin d it is okay to go out hiking and and enjoy the beauty that we're surrounded by yes and you guys can still watch youtube that doesn't mean you can Get away from YouTube. Still watch YouTube, because... I gotta go check on Jacob. You have to check I gotta on go Jacob. Jacob and Jacob. So Gregory's gonna finish. Yes, so you guys can still watch YouTube. But with that, I'm gonna end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed our little, like, coronavoid... What? 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 <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed our little coronavirus video update. It's what we think is our viewpoints. Um, it's just, it's crazy how, how this is affecting the world. And it could be affecting graduation. So yeah, with that, I'm going to end the video. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next YouTube video. Be kind to one another.